guys, what is up? That's Space 493 today. I'm back with Novail. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you guys about the Model 2187s. They're, they're new guns in Infinite Warfare. They're basically the Model 1887s. I'm going to talk to you guys about if they're OP, uh, if you should upgrade them, and if you should actually take time out of your day to use them to get the upgrades. So first off, I do want to say that the guns... Like, the second you use them, they're probably going to be pretty shit. Here's why. Uh, first thing that you're gonna notice is it's basically a hit marker machine at the beginning. However, if you use them for long enough, you will actually, um, get, like, long barrel, or whatever the fuck they call it, where, like, you know, it, it, it has, like, twice or three times as much range. You're also gonna notice, uh, I died, like, three times in a row at the beginning, but then I got, like, a shit ton of kills after. Like, I go on some amazing feeds, just saying, in this game, but, you know, at the beginning, they're gonna seem very hit marker machine-y, but they're going to get better. Another thing is, they take a second to, they have, like, a, a reload type of animation, like, as you'll see there, when I shoot them both, I roll them around my fingers. However, there's a different reload anima animation, and it's actually about twice as long when you're not dual wielding them, and reloading itself is actually twice as long. It seems like when you're not reloading them. Here's why. When you're dual wielding these, all he does is looks like he's gonna throw the guns down and then, like, throw them back up. However, when he reloads just one, what he does is he takes out the- he, like, un- he, like, clicks a button, takes out the bottom part, puts another bottom in, and then clicks it back in, and which is, like, twice as long. And the, you know, reload after every shot where I, like, you know, Throw, throw, uh, flip the guns around my finger Th instead of him doing that he like kind of like waves them in the air I think or something and basically I think this is kind of a I don't know I think it's a little bit controversial at, at one part of me thinks it's a good idea because that means that if you put a lot of time and effort into using them then you get rewarded by the guns being better now here I'm using right the laser so that way I can uh, be more accurate. Rifle and barrel, that's what's called. Uh, so that way the damage or the range is farther. And a Kimball obviously, so that way I have two of them. This is the best possible loadout I can think of for these. Because if you're dual wielding them twice the damage, you'll notice that it, it's not... I don't know if I'd say it's OP. At close range it's an, a, a definite one kill. A definite one kill with the Akimbo's. Um, that farther ranges you'll notice sometimes I get a one hit kill, like it would be in like the OP versions in Modern Warfare 2, and actually pretty often. But you also know with the, no, ah, no, no, you also notice at that range I didn't get a hit marker, and that was medium to long range kind of. Actually, I'd say that was more medium range, so that's a bit weird, but that was the only time that I really didn't damage him. That was a bit, that was like close to medium range, and medium range, is actually, I'd say 50% of the time it'll be a one hit, 50% of the time it'll be like a two hit, you know, but this was a bit of a, this was a little bit of a close range map, but I kind of tried to stay around the building area so I could get those amazing one hits. I think I traded with this guy, or like, I think I got like three kill trades, but I don't really care about kill trades, I know there's like a... A whole big thing that was on them about like a week ago that was like very controversial about kill trades being in the game honestly i could care less but look at that tactic bro like that was the best tactic and then i just died here like an fucking idiot because i was getting cocky but still i think i think that you know like at, at one point i think i actually got like 10 kills in a row or something or like eight kills or something i think i got like a split quad or some shit or split hexa feed i mean Pinsa feed rather. I don't remember though. I know I got something that was split. I think it, I, I think it was. It could have been a triple card. I don't know. Sorry that the sounds uh, sound a little bit weird. I don't know why they do that. That's that's three kills. Oh, this is it. Yeah, that's okay. So it's in a row kills. So that four kills or five kills in a row. Now they ju they just don't stop, dude. Six kills. Six kills. Oh my god. Seven kills, one life, bro. With these, sh with dual wield shotguns. Eight kill. Okay. Even though I literally said it just doesn't stop, and then it stopped. So yeah, that was like seven, eight. I think it was seven, seven or eight kills, one life. I panicked like shit there. Like honestly, that's why I died. Nice impact though, because I, 
I, I didn't even know you could get impacts. So when that happened to me, I was like, what the fuck? But yeah, sh the, 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 um, these are, these are, only use these in, sh in close range drafts. I know a lot of people say that when they're using shotguns. A lot of people don't listen to this because they're like, well, you say use it at close range, but it's like, you can use shotguns at farther ranges. You can't. These, you cannot. If you use them at farther ranges, you will die. I'm just telling you. They are terrible at far range. They're actually a bit better somehow when you're dual wielding them. And if you aim down sights, the fire is more concentrated. And also does, I think, a little bit more damage. But the reload, the the mini reload where he like flips the guns over and the actual reload are actually a lot better um, when you do wield them. Also, rifle barrel makes it so it's almost uh, an instant kill at medium range instead of just close range only. And even at just close range by the by with just one gun, it still gets hit markers even at very close range. I'm talking 10 feet within the enemy, it will still get hit markers sometimes. And these things are, are like twice, if not three times, as slow without the dual wield. So you're almost immediately going to die probably if you miss a shot or if it doesn't kill them because if it doesn't kill them they're gonna know where you are immediately turn around and probably kill you within a shot but I will say if you if you put enough time and effort and just try as hard as you can to get kills with these weapons you will notice that they will get better and better the more you upgrade them one thing I'd also like to say is um you have to have good accuracy for these. I know that goes with some shotguns, but you know those full auto shotguns, you don't really need that great of accuracy to get some kills with them. You need good accuracy, because if you miss a bullet, as I say, like, you're fucked. Look at that. I shot one bullet, it didn't kill him, immediately died. Um, I think I picked up, like, 40 plus kills, though. So I did basically half the team's work. Look at that long distance, dude. Only because he was at, like, fucking 5 health, but still. I, I love these things to bits. It was a stupid time to take a shot, but I thought I'd kill him. And, uh, if you guys didn't actually notice, at the beginning, for some reason, a shit ton of people left. So we were stuck with a team of only three people until there was about 90, which just passed. And I think it was, like, at the very end of 80 or the beginning of 90. Then, like, three other people joined us because I checked the score uh, scoreboard. Sorry, my mic cut out there for some reason. Well, it didn't cut out there, actually. I finished the gameplay with shit and then for some reason it just cut out the last like minute so um yeah as i was explaining it cut out the scoreboard i mean fuck the message cut out and if you check the scoreboards you'll see there was only like a few people there at the beginning and then we at the very end we got like a shit ton more people but uh, what i think is really cool is just i think if you spend enough time on these guns they get to be i don't know if i see a little bit op but my opinion is they're really good if you spend enough time on them uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. All this good things on my channel. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love the model 1887s. I'll see you guys next time.